hello everyone welcome to the channel and in this video i will be explaining the problem 1992 find all groups of farmland it is a pretty straightforward problem from graph chapter not very difficult uh, so what is being asked is that you are given a land matrix it contains uh, ones and zeros and there will be farms uh, like they will be uh, filled with one and each farm will be like in a rectangular shape uh, and it is necessary it is given that it will always be in a rectangular shape what you have to do is that you have to tell the starting position the starting position will be the top left uh, top left corner of that particular farm and the uh, like ending position will be the bottom right test uh, uh, position so let's understand the approach so the approach is going to be pretty simple it is going to be the uh, depth first search approach uh, so what you have is that you will you will have a land matrix and you will create another matrix like v called let's say visited to track like which cells you have visited in the matrix so initially all will be false here empty means false okay so let's uh, take the example that has been given in the problem itself uh, so what happens is that uh, you will just traverse traverse through you will traverse and whenever you find a one you will go and apply dfs and like f find everything uh, which is in the vicinity which can be reached from here for, for example if you uh, find this one here what you will do is that you will just uh, visit all these uh, cells because they are all connected so what happens is that when you first visit a one let's say uh, this has been taken let's understand from this perspective uh, if you visit one here so what you will do is that you will enter the this will be the leftmost uh, farm leftmost piece of land of that farm so you will enter what uh, let's say zero one two zero one two you will enter the coordinates one comma one and then you will do a dfs and uh, to find the like the end part of the farm there can be four conditions that uh, the farm is ending so the, the in this case the condition is going to be if uh, if for a particular cell its right side and bottom side are null like they don't exist then in this case it will be a farm uh, that will be the right end okay and let's say there will be a uh, another case uh, for example uh, uh, let's say this is the case uh, uh, this for one 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 zero 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 this is another case so uh, this in this case if the right side and the left uh, bottom side is zero then the, in this case i will say that this is the end part and another case will be this one for example this uh zero 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 in this case if the top part is doesn't exist and the right side also doesn't exist uh sorry the top part doesn't exist and uh, sorry the right part doesn't exist and the bottom part is zero then also this will be the third case like this is uh you will say that this is the ending position of the piece of land and uh, similarly uh, one more case will be there in which if i say one is here in this case the bottom part is doesn't exist and the right side is zero so these are the four conditions that you have to look out for uh, now let's code i mean i got a little more into the explanation part so pretty simple let's say let's start by making int r let me go full screen uh, okay so int r is equal to land dot size int c is equal to land zero dot size okay now i will make a vector called vector of vector int it will be result one in this this i this is something that i will be returning so return res at the end and now i will uh, make another vector called uh, visited vector so let's copy this vector of vector boolean 
so this will help me track that which cells i have visited once you see the code it will become more clear to you so let's initialize this visited vector with uh, all false so vector this is how you do initialize it vector bool and this will be c c is the number of columns and it everything will be false so now i have initialized it so what will happen is that let's say uh, let's write a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than uh, is the font maximum 16 pixel yes okay for int i i less than r i plus plus and another for loop for int j is equal to 0 j, j less than c j plus plus and uh, so if that particular land is a farmland land ij is equal to 1 and that land has never been visited before and viz ij viz ij is equal to false this land has never been visited then what will happen is that uh, you will apply uh, first thing you will do is that you will create a vector let's say vector int answer so answer will contain these things okay these coordinates for example in this part one answer is let's say for in this case one answer is 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 so i am saying that answer will contain this vector and this vector will be pushed back into this result vector so let's say so let's add answer dot push underscore back what i and another uh, I will just repeat this thing copy paste one will be J okay after doing this what I will do is that I will I will uh, uh, do a depth for search DFS and in DFS I will push my uh, I will give land visited I comma J and answer and in the uh, after ca the DFS function has done its course then I will push back rest dot push underscore back res dot push back answer so you can see that i have already uh, for a particular farm i have already got the starting positions now all i have to do is to find the ending positions so for ending position let's write this dfs function so void dfs uh, let's just copy these things vector vector int land uh, copy comma uh, and another is for visited array bool visited visited uh, then let's say the current grid i uh, i am at is r int uh, c and the column is represented by c and my vector vector int ampersand answer so this will uh, further contain my what this will contain my ending positions of that farmland so uh, let's write these uh, things again here uh, because it is important it will be helpful r and c will be the rows and column in the land matrix so mm -hmm. once i am inside this dfs mat uh, matrix first thing i will do is that i will mark my uh, cell uh, that current cell as true because it has been visited visited true okay and then uh let's say i will write the dfs code uh first so here first i will like i will write it later the conditions conditions to find end part of farm farm and below this i am writing the dfs code dfs code so for the dfs code i am creating the uh like matrix uh, creating a array int dr is equal to uh, is equal to what 0 comma 0 comma minus 1 comma 1 and another int dc4 is equal to uh, 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 comma sorry 0 comma 0 so this is nothing but uh, this thing so for example if you come at this array let's say you come here okay so now from here you can further explore in four directions these four directions so so this is what like this is uh, uh, 0 comma minus 1 column one column back this will be 0 comma minus 1 relative to this position uh, it will be clear uh, like once i write a for loop here here, uh, here again 
so for int i is equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus uh, cool uh, now I will write the four directions int rr is equal to what r plus dr i and int cc is equal to c plus dc i so these will be the four directions and I will go in a direction if rr is greater than equal to zero and and cc is greater than equal to zero and and rr is less than equal to r minus one and and cc is less than equal to c minus one i'm just validating the coordinate and another important thing is if uh, that rr should be land rr and cc should be equal to one and it should not be already visited viz rr cc is equal to false so in this case i will just further write my dfs code uh, this one is this is my dfs code copy paste uh, the dfs function land with this will become rr and this will become cc now let's move to the this final part of the problem so the final part is going to be uh, the four conditions that i told so if r is equal to r minus one and c is equal to c minus 1 basically it means that it is the end of the matrix then in this case what i will do is that i will just write this code uh, okay just let me correct the identification uh, will it mm, okay uh, and here it will be r here it will be c so this is the first condition second condition is second condition is else if else if let's say uh, r plus 1 sorry yes, if r plus 1 is less than equal to r minus 1 second case condition is basically this one uh, like suppose mm, you are in this condition where 1 1 1 zero 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 so this condition that if uh, like these two positions exist and these both are zero this is the second condition so let's write the second condition if r plus one is less than equal to r minus one and c plus one uh, is less than equal to c minus one and and my land r plus one c is equal to zero and and land r c plus one is equal to zero in this case uh, i will write this condition okay so let's write another condition else if else if if r is equal to r minus 1 and and land r sorry and and land r c plus 1 is equal to 0 then in this this case is basically what land r c plus 1 is equal to 0 land r c this uh, this condition is this one like uh, if this is the case let's say one 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 zero 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 so here like what uh, c plus one c plus one this thing is uh, zero and this is the end of the matrix like uh, there is nothing on the right side but on the bottom side there exists a zero so this is this condition so in this case also i will just push back now let's write the final condition else if what c is equal to c minus 1 and and land r plus 1 r plus 1 c is equal to 0 uh, then then i will add this thing copy paste 
uh, so these are all the four conditions this condition is this one uh, suppose uh, this thing is there one zero zero you have nothing at the bottom but on the right side there is a zero so this will also be a the end part of the end ending cell of that particular farmland uh, i hope i haven't done any mistake now let's run the code mm. it's okay it is running so it must be correct okay so it has passed pretty slow uh, so i hope it is pretty clear it is basically a dfs problem it is a basically a dfs problem uh, everything uh, how does this go down okay everything only this condition this part is you have to write and rest is very simple you have to just do a basic depth first search i hope it will be super clear so please do like the video and subscribe the channel so thank you and have a nice day bye bye